situation, Joe, with uh, Brad Thorne's speculation going on there, that, um, is, is he going to be joining up with Anstar? What's the situation? Um, really, with uh, Damien's shoulder, uh, that's been an ongoing injury. That's, that's probably 10 to 12 weeks long that uh, he's just had a, a niggle with his shoulder. So, you know, with Stephen Sykes going back, uh, Leo being operated on, um, we, we really left pretty pretty short in the second row department. And at this time of the season, uh, everyone is pretty much contracted and so is Brad Thorne. So for us to uh, entertain the thought that we might get Brad Thorne is uh, purely on uh, on the back of uh, the thought that Sanix might release him for the three-month break that they have and uh, that we could um, hopefully entice Brad over to do something he hasn't done before. Um, certainly, um, for us, we've got some 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 good young locks uh, who play mostly uh, on the loose head side. Obviously, Dev Toner and, and his cousin Mark Flanagan, uh, they're still available to us. And then on the other side, obviously, Damian Brown. So it doesn't leave us a lot of leeway uh, in the second row stocks. And so if, if Brad was available, that might be uh, something that, that could possibly happen. But to be honest, that's... That's kind of been mentioned, but we're not too far down the track with that. We'd 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 have to get some uh, we'd have to get some agreement from Sanex, and we'd have to get. Uh, I think Brad would be relatively interested. He's won most trophies in rugby, uh, but nothing in the northern hemisphere yet. So you know, it would be something that might interest him. So when are you hoping to know by either way, let's say. Um, probably in the next week or or so, uh, because we're t working on a very tight time frame here. Uh, we would need him available really by the, you know, um, early March, to get a three-month contract there that would make him eligible to, to cover us in the ERC games as well as, uh, as the Rabo games. And um, I, I guess you know, there is only one ERC game left because anything beyond that is uh, something we don't control. Obviously, um, this was the last time we talked to you, there was such a feel-good factor around the provinces and obviously after yesterday's performance, can you put your finger on why, you know, and I know it's easy to say that provincial success translating it to, to nationals, but can you put your finger on why it doesn't seem to be coming together for, for the provinces in the national team? Um, I, I don't really have any, any insight into what happens uh, with the national team. I know it's always a tough job to get uh, a group together in a very short period of time and, and tr try to get them... Uh, effectively all on the same page doing doing something that's uh, very much collective and and, uh, and fluent so uh, you know there are real challenges involved in that and uh, I think uh, you know Wales performed very very well and last time they did win a Grand Slam none of the Welsh provin provincial teams actually qualified for the playoff stages in, in the Heineken Cup so the two don't necessarily correlate and uh, you know I, I think uh, for me to comment would be difficult because I, I don't really I've been in the situation of trying to do that myself and and so I I know that I, I certainly had enough trouble trying to do that here when I first arrived um, as you'll sure surely you'll remember I think we lost five out of first six um, so I wouldn't be the one to comment really you do know Johnny Sexton though pretty well and you know, obviously he's sort of kind of, you know, kicks in uh, quite well yesterday, but I'm sure you back him to obviously select the next week that he can uh, kick on and improve. Yeah, he's a super player. Um, and, uh, you know, on top of his game, I, I, I think he is, he is as, as good as anyone there is, certainly in Europe. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I'm always delighted to see uh, Johnny selected and, and uh, delighted to see him getting the opportunity at the very highest level. And, um, you know, even more so, it's, it's been a really exciting time for us with Dave Carney being involved. Uh, it was great to see him standing next to Rob uh, yesterday at the ground. Um, and even on the periphery, seeing Owen and Melly out there warming up with them. Um, it, 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 is, it is exciting. It is uh, kind of the dream that those, those players uh, would love to get to. Um, you know, and, and even for Ian to be playing for the Wolfhounds uh, the week before was, was great for us to have those guys involved.